Hey everyone, this is Chris once again with another video. Today I'm going to be working with the Nextbit Robin here. Um, if you haven't seen, I did an unboxing on this. Go ahead and check that out um, in my playlist there of unboxings. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Google Pixel experience onto your Robin here. Okay, so that would include your Google Home, the Pixel Launcher, okay, you're also your Google Assistant that's going to work with that. Um, I have an airplane mode, so of course it's not going to work. Um, and the Home button animation, um, that's a part of the theme. So Again, like I said in my previous uh, video, this is a custom ROM. This one I'm actually using a Paranoid Android AOSPA, um, very stock with just a couple features. Um, that is not going to be the ROM that you're going to probably want to use to get the best experience just because of the fact um, when I go to swipe down, I've noticed that since because it is running a, a modified um, version because it is Paranoid. Um, it doesn't have some of the quick toggles like you would normally see in NuGet. So I'll go ahead, um, I'm going to leave all the links of what you need to download um, in the description here. So what you're going to need to do is first of course have your Robin unlocked and rooted, or actually unlocked, have TWRP installed um, for your custom recovery. We're going to go ahead and boot into that first. Okay. Um, before you do any of this, back up your phone, um, your ROM that you may have, or um, the stock ROM that's on the, the Robin already. Um, so that way, in case something goes wrong, you do anything, whatever, you always have a backup. Okay, so get into TWRP. Um, I already backed up this ROM so I can show you straight through exactly what you're going to need to do. Um, I always personally like to wipe the phone first before trying to install just make sure that it is all clear cleared out um, Dalvik cache system data and the other uh, cache there do not wipe internal storage or you're going to lose all your data so just want to give you that I'm going to go ahead and wipe um, I'm going to be actually using uh, Cyanogen Mod 13 um, based on Marshmallow, so it is going to be a nightly build, um, whether that is stable or not, or what, how, or what have you, um, that's going to be something completely different. So we're going to go ahead and flash our Cyanogen ROM on here. Alright guys, so what actually just happened was the Cyanogen mod ROM that I just downloaded um, it aired out while during the installation it said that the file was actually corrupt so I had to uh, restore my backup which um, which is why I say and stress it is important to back up your ROM regardless if you flash a, a dirty flash of an updated ROM that sort of thing always have one just in case something happens so let me go ahead I just redownloaded um, another sign engine it's just, just an earlier build um, so it's not actually the latest one um, so it looks like it is actually working so we're gonna let that install we're gonna have to install the uh, Google Apps thereafter boot into the phone just kinda quickly sign in to um, go through the initial setup um, and yeah so we'll wait for this to, to finish now that your ROM and Google Apps are now installed we're gonna go ahead and just uh, flash Super SU, so that way it comes rooted. I'm not sure. Some ROMs they do come pre rooted or not. Um, just depends. So go ahead and flash that and then boot your device uh, and set it up like you normally would. And we'll go to the next step. Alright, so your Robin has booted up for the first time. You signed into your account. You're good to go there. So, first thing what you're going to want to actually do is to install the theme that you're gonna get the majority, the looks for Pixel onto your device. This is actually gonna to apply to any 
phone or ROM that's going to be running on CyanogenMod or a base of CyanogenMod. Um, so as long as the ROM has uh, the CM themes, um, you can actually install this. This is a NUI CM or sorry NUI CM. Um, this is in the Play Store. It is a dollar, um, but it's well worth the quality that you get. There's been already a couple of updates um, to it, um, so that's good to see. Um, you're actually going to also get the boot animation, which, yes, you could do that yourself um, as far as getting the boot animation zip and putting it into the, the directory on the root um, and system media folder, but this applies it for you, no worries there. Um, so once that installs, um, again, NUI space CM, okay? We're going to go to your theme app to select which theme you want to apply. It's right there. Boom. And this changes pretty much all of the different uh, uh, like apps, things like that. And so you can already see that your buttons down here have been adjusted and changed. Um, There's your boot, your home animation, and then now your blue accent colors are going to be all there, as well as your settings, the blue accents that the Pixel has. Okay, so when you install GAPS or G Apps, however you want to pronounce it, um, they actually have an app now in the Play Store which will allow you to download in um, the the Google Apps, the latest, it automatically recognizes your um, phone, the device, things like that you, you need. Um, so pretty much it automatically comes with a Pixel Launcher um, installed and you get the Google Now swipe card, so that's fantastic. So um, the whole um, theme is applied, so now what we're going to need to do is actually to get the Google Assistant and some of the other uh, NuGet features, you're going to have to install uh, Exposed um, onto your device. Okay, So you have to um, go ahead and download that, put that onto your um, internal storage. Um, let me actually go ahead and you'll need to just install the um, Exposed Manager. APK real quick. Um, it's actually okay. So exposed installer. Um, also, of course, make sure unknown sources is turned on for you to install some of these uh, APK files. Um, boom. Done. Um, the dialer that comes installed with Google Apps isn't the um, one that you're going to actually have on the Pixel, okay? So to be able to get the Pixel dialer, um, incoming call, ringtone, things like that, you actually have to install this other APK, which I will have down in the link below. Go ahead and install that. Um, there are a couple bugs where some of the settings, it kind of force closes and things like that, but you're going to get the same experience for incoming calls um, and things like that when you're making phone calls, okay? Um, just for privacy reasons, I'm not going to be opening up the dialer for contacts and things like that since my contacts have been synced already. So we're going to go ahead and boot into, um, actually, let's go ahead real quick and developer options, build number about five times or so, uh, advanced reboot, so that way we can quickly go into our recovery here. Now the thing is when you are going to install Exposed, um, it's going to basically wipe the cache, so that way it's going to actually take a while to boot the phone back up, so if you're in a situation where you need your phone, wait to do any of this, such as even installing Exposed um, when you're at home or things like that, because it's going to put your phone um, unusable for 
maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, so expose V86 SDK 23 ARM64. So ARM64 is the processor since it is an 808 SDK 23 um, that is for Marshmallow. Um, V86 is just the version number. Okay, so this is the latest. You can find this on XDA, but I'll just go ahead and leave the link to the thread down below. Um, I'll kind of put the step-by-step -step of what you need to follow in the description. Um, so we're going to let that. That's done. Awesome. Um, during right now, there's nothing else you need to really install. So you're going to go ahead and just reboot your phone, and we'll go to the next step. All right. So the phone's booted up now. After installing Exposed, what we're going to go ahead and do is install the um, proper modules in order to get the um, Google Assistant working. Also, the NuGet features on here as well. So we're going to go to download. Go to the magnifying glass. Uh, we're going to go ahead and type in uh, Google Assistant. That's going to be Assistant Enabler module. We're going to go ahead and install that, or download and install. This is going to get the Google Assistant on here. Next is going to be what is called NFI I dash or Android NFI. So basically, it's going to put a lot of the features of NuGet onto your phone, um, such as the quick setting toggles, um, your descriptions of settings. Um, it's going to allow you to double tap the recent key to switch between multitask and between apps. Um, a few other things. Um, so once that's done, we're going to go back into where I already was. Go back to your modules. You're going to want to enable both of these. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and reboot the phone after you've enabled both of those. And you can see this little animation. That's part of the NUI theme, um, the little uh, the little bubbles for the loading. And now you're going to be able to see the boot animation that comes along with that theme as well. All right, guys. So your phone should boot up. Um, in case you do have any issues, um, something I forgot to mention before is to have and also download on your internal storage the exposed framework uninstaller just in case if your phone boot loops um, for whatever reason. Um, that actually happened to me. So I went ahead and installed AOKP ROM, um, reinstalled the exposed framework, and enabled the Android NFI and Assistant Enabler. So it booted up just fine, so I'm not sure why. Um, may run into issues, but your mileage may vary. So we have the Android NFI now on our device. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this here or not. So we do have um, different options for tweaks for the uh, NuGet um, theme styling of it. So we do have setting summaries, which essentially we'll just put in a description under each setting. Um, so, and then the end logo and the Easter egg. Um, recents, we do have the quick switch option. Um, it does enlarge the keys um, as far as quick settings go. So you can see now it fills up more of the screen according to the NuGet uh, requirements. Um, and now you do have that option at least. Um, you can see the quick double tap on the recents will switch between your recent last app and then your current app that you're using. Just like that. Status bar headers. Um, you can change um, some some of the settings such as um, enlarging the front uh, largest row. Um, sometimes some ROMs or um, custom OS versions um, have issues with background colors. So now we have 
let's see if I can just change the setting real quick. Hang on one second, guys. Um, notification drawer, right? Okay, so now we do have the option for your quick NuGet setting or quick toggles from NuGet. So you swipe down, so now you have your five there, and then you can rearrange ones that you want in the five that you use most often there. Okay, so that's a nice little feature. Okay, notifications. Um, you do now have a basically it'll interact the same way as how notifications work with inline replies um, such as text messages um, things like that okay now with an older build of this in inify if you tap multiple times on this end you'd en enable an experimental mode um, they've done away with that so that's why we had to go with the assistant enabler okay um, so now if we press and hold on here, uh, we'll do that later. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? When is Dortmund playing next? Borussia Dortmund's next match is on Saturday at 12.30 p.m., where they will play Bayern Munich. Who is their captain? Who is their captain? According to Fear the Wall, with Mats Hummels leaving Borussia Dortmund for Bayern Munich, BVB is not only in search of a new center back, but also for a new captain. So, yeah, um... Google Assistant's work in there. You can see pressing and holding the recent or the home button. You have your quick switch. Okay. And of course your Google Now. That's over here on the on the side. Um, so one of the other things that the NUI ROM um, enables basically is for you to be able to it actually change the font to the pixel font so that's something else that it comes with um, so anyways that's how you get the pixel experience onto in this specific situation your next bit robin but this guide pretty much can apply to all um, phones or roms more than likely um, i haven't really tested it but um, for the most part and just to confirm I will show you that this is running marshmallow so we can see 6.0.1 and September security patch there as well again this is AOKP nightly the 11th November 11th build um, so yeah so much for Google giving exclusivity to Pixel features, Google Assistant, and so on. Um, so now you can get this on your next bit, Robin, $170 device that's on Amazon right now. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, I'll do my best to get to each one of them. Um, thank you so much for your patience and for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is a new channel for me, so I'm trying to expand and get more videos created here for you all. Um, if there's anything you guys want to see, um, drop a comment as well. I'll do my best to kind of get to some of those. Uh, and I do have some further plans on reviewing some ROMs for the next bit as well. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.